Hello everyone, I just received the 2020.48.10 software update. There's some couple of exciting features that I wanted to share with you all. Uh, so I wanted to make this video, show you some demo of what those features are. There are two main features. One is the test, text message improvement. And then the second one is for the sentry mode. So in case somebody breaks into your car and they you know, take your flash drive, you are still able to retrieve that video because Tesla saves it in the internal memory and you are able to get that in a flash drive. I'll show you how that works. Um, so with, with that, let's get started with today's video. Let's first talk about release notes and then we'll do a demo of each of those features. I also wanted to let you know that I uploaded a video earlier today on tips and tricks covering 10 hidden features for Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. So be sure to check that out and many other Tesla videos in my channel. With that, let's get started. First one, it says text messaging improvement. Consecutive messages from the same sender will now be displaced and dictated together for an improved viewing and listening experience. To view the conversation, open the application launcher, tap call messages like usual when you go over here. We'll do a demo here very shortly. You can now double press the right scroll wheel to easily dismiss dismiss an incoming text message or re-record an outgoing text message. We'll also do a demo of that here very soon. As usual, ena to enable text message, tap the Bluetooth icon on the top of your display and enable sync messages. We'll do that. Note, due to limitations of Bluetooth support from your device, you will not be able to send group messages. So, no group messages yet but looks like there is some significant improvement in text messaging. There's an entire new UI I have seen from the other release notes. So we'll, we'll do a quick demo of that here in just a second. Tracks V0.2, uh, it has now redesigned to help you create audio master plays with just a few taps. Uh, there is some improvement to, to tracks. I'm not big into tracks, so I can't cover what was uh, already there in the app or what changed. Um, so I would like to jump to the next one, which is sentry mode improvement. Sentry mode footage is of the last panic event will now be saved on to onboard memory. To view or save this clip, plug in a USB device, launch the dashcam viewer, and tap the save icon on the bottom right corner of the screen. So this one is very important. Sentry mode previously, if you had someone break into your car or panic means like the car alarm was triggered, right? So if the alarm was triggered and let's say somebody broke into your car and they took your USB, you would have no way of knowing who who did that, right? So because you lose that footage. But now it looks like the car is going to save it into the onboard memory and then you are you are able to plug in a USB stick in the in the front of your car how you would do for the the dash cam and then view that footage. We'll give it a try. I don't know if I'm going to have any luck triggering the alarm. I have had a hard time triggering that alarm intentionally in the car but i'll give it a try all right folks i was able to trigger the car's alarm and my usb was unplugged i use a ssd for my usb so it says the sentry mode is active but the dash cam icon is not there and uh, it wasn't there when i uh, activated the alarm so let's plug this in and see what Tesla does if it would let us recoup that footage. So it found the footage that I was looking for what caused the, the alarm. I was trying to trigger, I was trying to hit, I was trying to open the door to see if that would cause the alarm. I tapped into the door and then after trying for a while, I think the very front there, it caused the alarm. As you can see, it's beeping and it, the, the lights are flashing. So I went and used my key card to unlock the car and now here I can save this footage. So if I hit save, would you like to copy this footage to the dash cam USB drive? That is the drive, save, and it's saved. So if I do launch viewer, the footage was saved right here, it was green. To enable the text messaging feature, you have to go to Bluetooth here and connect. If you haven't connected your phone, you can do add new device here. But Shiva, this is the phone that we're going to be working with. 
And right here, you have to turn on the sync messages. So when you turn on sync messages, it says to enable Bluetooth messaging under your phone setting. Um, go over here. So let's do that. If we go to setting, go to Bluetooth. And then right here, it says, there's that icon. And here, you have to do show notification. So this is an iPhone. So that's how you activate show notification. And let's try to reconnect. It's connecting, it says connected, and it says sync messages and chime for new messages. We're gonna turn on chime for new messages here so that it can chime. Uh, and let's let's give it a give it a try. So we're gonna text this phone and then see if I get any kind of notification here. So right here is an entirely new UI. It says test, double press to dismiss or single press to open. Test says this is the first test message. So this is the first test message, and let's see when the second message comes. If it will read. This is the second test message. And now it, it read both of those text messages out loud. Again, an entire new UI. And if I double press here, it will dismiss. But if I single press, I can reply. Thanks for sending that text. And now either I can single press to send it or double press to re-record. So single press and it got sent. That message got sent. Now, if I go over here into call, you can see under messages, there you go. This is like my phone's screen that you are able to, you are able to see the, the conversation right here. So let's text that number again and then see if I can get the conversation here. So here you go. You're able to see this is the third test message. It also appeared here and I can double press to dismiss it. Now over here, I can also just, hey, I got that second message. When I meant to say the third message, I can double tap. Hey, I got that third text message. It did pretty well. And again, you have to press on this button twice. So if I wanna re-record this, all I have to do is press here. I'm re-recording this third message. And all I have to do is press again, and it sends, and it automatically shows over here. This is like your phone right here, where you can see your text history and text, and you know you can reply from here. It's all voice reply, you can't type in, but you can do all of that. There's no group messages yet, but I'm pretty sure that is coming to Tesla soon. This is pretty amazing, you can go back and if you are multiple texts, you can look over here. But this is pretty impressive. I showed this in one of my videos before, in tips and tricks video, but to, to enable that for a quick, quick use, right? If you are over here, call, text. So you want this text screen to pop up next time you open the app or while you are driving, you want the text to pop up or go slide up. All you have to do is just from here, slide up and it pulls up the recent thing that you had used. So slide up and you see your text message and you can read through that message or you can respond using the voice uh, command here. That'll do it for today's video. I just wanted to show you a couple of those features with the new update. I will be making a video on every single software update that has new features like this one. Uh, I'm gonna be making a lot of videos on the new full self-driving software update. Whenever that hits my car, I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks. So. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss anything. Turn on the notification, give it a thumbs up for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for your time. Namaste.